what place, if you have like a travel novice, what place in the world would you suggest for like stepping into, okay, I want to, even if it's somebody that can't really do it as much as, as nobody really can do it as often as you did, but the first step into falling in love with travel and what activity would you do there? Mm, Ooh, I think that's a great question. Um, I would start, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do something crazy out of the box. I would start close ish to home and I would start it in nature because seriously nothing, uh, makes me hit the reset button better than being surrounded by nature. And a lot of times that's by myself. And I tell everyone, if you have never done a solo trip, do it. Like it's, it's probably going to scare the shit out of you and that's fine. But that's the whole point of it is to be thrown out of your comfort zone and it will make you grow in ways you never, ever thought possible. It'll make you learn way more than you ever have learned in a textbook. Um, have you, have the two of y'all ever been on a solo, like a proper solo trip? No, but this is why I want to talk to you about this, because this year, finally, I think because of COVID and me going through such a major public breakup, I have been, it's been something I've been wanting to do for about the past year. And now I feel like I'm at the point where at first I was kind of scared to do it. You know, I I would like to have somebody just to feel safe and secure and, you know, like have a good backup if I ever needed it. But then I'm like, no, like, you like to be alone. You're independent. So I want to piggyback off onto that and ask for advice for solo trips as well. Okay. So I think you are more apt to meet more people by yourself than if you're traveling with friends or family, because you're by yourself. Like if you were with a friend, you're going to be talking amongst the two of you guys. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a great jumping off point to meet new people. And I don't, I don't know what exactly Let's just start with sticking close to home somewhere domestic inside the US. Do you like do you like hiking? Do you like to be outdoors and surrounded by nature? I do, but I'm not really um that savvy. Like if I have to camp outside by myself, I'd be a little bit afraid of For what sure. might happen. No, this isn't that. This is not that. But hiking, I would be, yes. I would be I'd be <laughs> slightly nervous to camp by myself too. I don't know all the ins and the outs about it, but I would definitely start um, with a national park by yourself. Um, Catherine and I sort of kind of went to Glacier National Park <laughs> mm-hmm. in Montana, but that wasn't either one of our one-on-one dates. <laughs> um, it is de- it's still, it's like probably at the top of my list for a U.S. based destination. And like Montana is so hot right now because it is so beautiful outdoors and all the national parks are having a moment with COVID now, um, especially because Americans really can't go too far outside the borders. So I would say some kind of national park, you don't have to, I don't think you even have to like love hiking. I, I remember my first hike when I was living in Argentina, I went to Patagonia, tears streaming down my face. I had, I hadn't even broken in my brand new hiking boots, had no clue what I was doing. But I look back on that experience and I'm like, that was so awesome because that propelled me forward to love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think it's so healing. So healing. So that's that's where I'd that's where I'd start. Um that or going and hanging out by the beach in the Caribbean somewhere. Even that's fun. (laughs) That sounds nice too. Yeah. I was gonna say outside of the US, where is one of your favorite places internationally that you've traveled or that you would recommend to people? Yeah. Um I think solo or with a partner or even with family, um, because it it is so varied in landscape and budget, you can do it as cheap or as expensive as you want. I love Thailand. Uh, mm. I love it. I love it. I love it because there's like, it has the mountains in the North and the beaches and the islands in the South. And it offers so much. And like I said, you can do it on a budget or you can just blow it out of the park. Um, mm-hmm. whatever you want. I and- will, I will attest to that. We went to, on the show, we went to Thailand, um, on my season and it is incredible. And that's the one place that I'll always recommend to anyone wanting to travel internationally anywhere. It just, the culture and the food and the history. And like you said, the landscape, it's so varied. It's stunning. And Catherine, that's where you got engaged. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I love so, Thailand. Yeah, I, so y'all know Special Thailand. place. I would just say Southeast Asia in general um, is amazing. Like Vietnam is so good for food. It's like the food Mecca. It's so beautiful. The people are so lovely. Um, 
Bali is, Bali is just an easy one because I feel like, I feel like it's, it seems overrun with tourism, but at the same time, there are so, so many hidden gems that you could find too. And again, you can do it on a budget as, or as expensive as you want. It has Mm -hmm. something for everyone. 